Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here. Today we take a look at the new Trickster skill for Battle Royale in Call of Duty Mobile. To unlock the Trickster skill, you have to complete the Trickster Challenge. It's been available since yesterday. It's gonna be here for eight more days. Now like they did with Airborne and same thing they did with Molotov and Sparrow. If you don't do it now, it's gonna take a while before it comes back in the credit shop. That's what they did for Molotov and Sparrow. And some guys miss the airborne challenge and they're still waiting. They cannot use airborne. Once again, you don't have to wait three days. If you complete all the other tasks, you will have the trickster right away. Basically, what you have to do is play eight battle royale games, get 20 kills, get a few top tens and use your skills during the games. Now let's review the trickster. I had a chance to use it in the game today and it was actually pretty fun to use. So first of all, what it does, it says use two holographic decoys and a major speed boost to confuse your enemies. Now remember the word confusion. Then the passive skill is called alert and it says you're gonna hear the enemy's footsteps easier and with a wider range of hearing. So again, in Battle Royale, it's not like Call of Duty Mobile multiplayer where you have a lot of close range situations and hearing your enemy's footsteps will make a huge difference. In Battle Royale, you have a lot of long range situation, long range combat, uh, but maybe in the final circles, if it's in a building area, it's gonna be much more useful, but usually in the wide open like fields and stuff, mountains, I don't think it's very, very good for the passive, but it can be useful. Now, first thing I noticed about Trickster is the cooldown. First game I use it, I was like, wow, the cooldown is super short. So that means you can use it again very often. Right after it's gone, you're almost ready to use it again. The duration is not that bad, but it's not super long. So what it means is don't pre-use it. Don't use it if you're not in a combat situation, because when you're gonna need it, it's not gonna be ready. Now the feedback I got is the decoys will not work against bots. The bots will spot you, they will not get fooled by the hologram. So they say it's exactly the same as when you use the snowman emote. If you use the snowman, the bots will still shoot you. But versus real players, you have a chance to fool them with the decoy. Now I had it used against me and I can tell you guys, the word confusion is the right choice. It's really confusing. I had a guy come at us in a chopper and before he dropped on us, he used the decoys. And when he landed, I saw him drop from the chopper. So I had the kill, but on the mini map, there was a lot of red dots. So I thought, wow, we're in trouble. I was really panicking because I saw a lot of uh, like enemies on my, on my radar, but it was actually decoys. So when they're in your range, you're gonna see the decoys on the mini map. Now the other thing is when you use it, as soon as you activate it, you're gonna get a speed boost. It's in the description. It's actually very cool. So it's gonna be good in close range combat. If you have to, like if you're in trouble, someone's shooting at you. If you're in a building area, you can turn a corner, activate it and sprint around the corner. I think it's gonna be very good. Uh, my opinion though, compared to the other skills, like I said in the stream today, I think maybe it's gonna be better in solo battle royale. But I think it's not a great team skill because compared to the other skills, I think if you play four man squads, I always think mechanic and scout are the top two skills. They will allow you to spot enemies. All right. So I think it's important to know where your enemies are. It's the most important thing in the game to spot them easy means you're going to get more wins in my opinion. And then if you play as a team, I think medic is a very good skill. If you have a good medic, a good medic player in your team, it's gonna make a huge difference. And then as skill number four for teams, I think airborne is a great, great skill for team, for squads. It really helps repositioning near the end of the games. And when there's a lot of real players, it can be very useful. But I think trickster is more on a, an individual skill. Same thing for ninja. It's something that's only gonna help you. It's not really gonna help your team. So I'm not a fan of Trickster in squad battles. Now, of course, Clown is also a pretty decent one. It's gonna help you find your targets. If you throw the bomb, the zombies will go. 
and it's very good in 1v1 situation in the end of the games the zombies are super annoying i did have to fight 1v1 in the small circles with zombies on me and i died a few times to it so clown is not bad but trickster we're gonna have to give it more time i think it's interesting very interesting skill short cooldown the speed burst is actually pretty good but is it really good enough to use right now but once again we'll have to give it a few more days at least but guys leave me a comment below how do you like it so far i want to hear your opinion like i said it's interesting i'm impressed i like the short cooldown but i'm wondering is it good enough to justify using it in team i don't think so in solos i guess it could be okay but are you gonna use it over scout or over mechanic uh mechanics very op right now in 1v1 so i'll leave you guys with some gameplay enjoy the video and once again leave a comment below i want to know your opinion on the new trickster if you have it already let me know thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon till then watch my other videos take care see I also your psychosis will move. I don't know how long they stay. See, they move around. Welcome to Battle Royale. The match is about to start. Man, the cooldowns seem to be very very fast. But like you say, it doesn't work on It doesn't work on bots, right? Oh, I mean all right, we need to go grab the dog tags. Oh yeah, you have a speed boost. You run faster. Oh, we don't have the chopper, man. You, you come to the stream tomorrow if we play together. Hey, uh, guys, the cooldown is very, very short. And you run faster when you have it. And gold lions, stay safe. I'm coming. Look at the speed boost. It's just super short. He's on us, on us, on us. There's more, there's more, there's more. Okay, 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 okay. So the holograms, they appear as red dots also. Do you see that? There was a red dot, but it was a hologram. Like it was only one guy, but I panicked. Like there was three guys on the map, on the mini map. It was just some holograms. Sorry about the sound, by the way, guys. I know it's crackling a bit, cracking the audio. Okay, I got guys over there. Enemy is near. The Two guys. Need help. Enemy is near. Yo, this dude, man. Was trying to heal. Yeah, I, I'm at nine Everyone HP. Someone down. crossing the street. Enemy is near. Zombies incoming. Damn it, Gold Lion is down. That was Holos, right? Come on, dude! Oh my god, so many players! I, I, if we don't win this game, it's our first loss in a very long time. Is it gonna end like that? Is he gonna survive the gas? I did pull. Uh, is it 24 hours yet? Can you join the the? I'm looking for Deadpool, aka Archvolen. I'm looking for Mustafa, aka Lunch Code, 
and I'm looking for Nova Guy 33. Are you guys in the chat right now? For the clan. Yeah, Gold Lion, it's it's our last game, okay? Uh, we had a tough day, but we had eight wins in a row. And maybe this one, if, if Wolf can clutch it. But still, uh, not our best day. Even if it was all wins, it would it was not our greatest games. See, so still have room to improve. Wow, I think it's two guys. One down, one one behind the the logs. Mustafa was here? Because yesterday I did the clan raffle around 5.30. So it's going to be 24 hours in a few minutes. So I want to see if these guys are ready to join or if I have to wait tomorrow. But yeah, after this game, I'll end the stream and we'll be back tomorrow for zombies. Definitely getting the axe this weekend. If not tomorrow, it's going to be Sunday. Yeah, we're going to have a great week weekend, guys. Put on first person. I can't. Cannot do anything. I can't swap. Oh, okay, yeah, I could. Only two teams left. Getting close wow. To 1v2, two teams left. How many axe shards? I think I need eight. I think I'm at 92. I can check after this, man. Uh, John, the cut point giveaway is Sunday. Good luck, bro. So it's 2v1, so that's pretty sick. You don't know where they are, right? And it's... You, you know you gotta move, but don't wanna be the first and get shot. He's using mechanic, right? 35 seconds. Why he doesn't use his skill? Because it's not ready. You see at the bottom right, it's charging right now. I think it's activated. It, it just reset. So I think they're too the far. Is almost ready. Oh, I did in the building. Top floor, top floor. I think you saw him? The safe zone is collapsing. I think they have to move, right? They have to exit the building. Or it's gonna be very close. You got a good spot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to move. Oof, oof, oof. They're in the gas, right? Nice! Lord Wolf with the clutch. Wolf! You saved the day, man. The win streak continues.